Laura Miller, the mayor of Dallas, and myself were not the first two mayors in the Metroplex to try and work on this issue. Um, the, my predecessor, uh, Kenneth Barr, had, had tried as well when, he, when Mayor Kirk was, was mayor of Dallas. And, and um, it, it was a challenge then, and it continued to be a challenge because Fort Worth's attitude was a deal is a deal. And that was not what, uh, what Dallas had in mind. And the, the Tarrant County delegation was vehemently opposed to taking it any further. Uh, they felt like this amendment was put in place to protect our largest employer, American Airlines, to um, ensure that DFW International Airport, our largest fiscal engine in the entire region, was protected as well. And that um, we were trying to make sure that, that uh, Southwest as a partner also was, was protected. So what changed the dynamic was when other states started uh, taking steps in Congress to, uh, to do away with the right amendment in their states. And that kind of changed the, the, uh, the dynamic of our discussions. So we decided, well, um, instead of doing just cussing, let's go back and do some discussing. And one thing led to another, and the negotiations began. Little did we know at the time that um, it was going to turn into a real rodeo. Fortunately for me, it wasn't my first or my last. And at the same time, I think in, in the long run, what we did was to do exactly what we had planned to do, and that was to grow DFW International Airport to protect the largest national international carrier, American Airlines, and our largest employer in Fort Worth, and the largest domestic carrier, Southwest Airlines, in Dallas. Um, but in order to get there, uh, it was um, quite, a, quite a process. Um, and frustrating to those of us who were doing negotiating, frustrating to those of you in the media who were chasing us around, um, trying to find out where our hideouts were going to be to, uh, to have these discussions. Um, frustrating for both the business groups in, in Fort Worth and Dallas, um, and uh, all of the staff and attorneys that, that were involved. Uh, it was quite an undertaking, and I think the secret was we just never gave up, and we never gave in. And the result is what you see today, celebrating the, the A38 coming in here uh, from, um, first of all, Qantas and then Etihad. Um, this is just the, the next step, and uh, DFW International Airport is going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to be the largest fiscal engine generating $30 billion a year plus. Um, it's going to continue to develop and the entire region is a beneficiary.